Hello everybody, I'm Life Coach Connie Page and I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, today our subject is identity in God. Identity in general or identity in God. Everybody has got an identity. Your most obvious identity is your family name, where you derive from, who your parents are, your grandparents, your family tree. Who are you? Does your profession um, give the definition of your existence, of you? Most likely, yes. People become really frustrated and personality can even change when they lose their work and they are out of work. They are in desperate need for recognition and financial exchange for their workforces, which is natural and normal. Well. We also have an identity in what we believe in. We have a lot of movements these days. They are vegetarians, vegan people, that's uh, food focused identity, what they can eat, want to eat and who they are uh, within their belief system of eating right or wrong as, as well as in the Islamic or Jewish faith. There are certain rules of food one can eat. It's interesting, Jesus Christ said um, you won't pollute yourself with what you're eating since you bless the food, but you're going to pollute, pollute yourself with what you're saying, in uh, saying inappropriate things, wanting to show off, um, hurting others with words consciously or unconsciously that's much more dramatic in the eyes of Jesus Christ than eating the food we're eating of course our our body is the temple of God and we should watch out and have a healthy diet um, because our body is the temple of God so it deserves um, a proper diet and lots of water and so on and so forth. But that's not the subject I'm talking today. It's about your identity. What is your identity? With what are you identifying yourself? Um, most likely women identify themselves with their husbands. Not long ago, that was the time of my grandmother, um, her identity was Mrs engineer because my grandfather was an engineer at Siemens. Well, what was her identity? I mean, that was actually her husband's identity. She didn't have a commercial identity because she was not a breadwinner. She had five children at home and servants. That was a totally different um, background than most people could afford. And that was quite exceptional. But what was her identity? Was she mother of Wilhelm, Andreas, Bernhard, Beate, Luise? Was she the mother? Well, she lived during the Third Reich. That was the reigning time of Hitler in Germany, the National Socialism, which was an awful, terrible time with a terrible mark on this country I'm living in. Um, Yes, she was honored by the past government for having five children to basically produce um, humans for the common good. Well, I don't know if this is such a great identity. Uh, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> um, yes, the question is, what is your identity? Did you ever think about it? Who you are? Is happiness your identity? Or sadness? Or hope? Or desperation? What comes out of your mouth is showing your identity. What you stand for is showing your identity. Is your sexual sexual um, identification, no, sexual orientation, your identity, being um, heterosexual, homosexual or anything else. Is this your identity, who you are? Or is it just a biological 
thing we as human beings have to have to continue the generations. <laughs> I'm not giving answers to that. You can search and find out yourself. Um, I'm talking today about identity. Is your hobby, your identity in collecting certain items, crystals, uh, certain carpets, paintings or anything alike? Is your identity helping, helping others till you drop? I mean, just looking out for the hurt, the needy, the homeless, the everybody else. I mean, anybody who is poor, desperate, needy. Where is your identity? Is your identity in making money, being a provider to your family? Well, that's a must in this world to uh, supply. But is this the all over identity? Who is carrying the possibilities we're having these days? Who backs us up? Who fills our soul with wanting something to do? Yourself, your parents, your friends, the social institution you are in or you were formed in, your government, your country, the time we're living in. Who is directing your steps? Your hunger going to the fridge at midnight? Or your emotional need to eat sweets? Or your addiction to drink wine, liquor, beer, etc.? Your need to smoke? What is forming you? Well, their desires and identities that support our life or destroy it slowly. Check out where you at and how can you change if you are on a way of destruction. Being isolated, not having a community, to uh, share your life with. Where are you? Right now. There is, an ident there is an identity one can choose. It's the identity of love, joy, life and a way to walk it out in a friendly manner, in a, in a good manner to respect the people around you and also yourself. It's about choosing Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior because he is alive according to the Bible. According to the Bible, he rose and sits on the, uh, besides his Father in heaven. That's just an image that can be interpreted different ways, but I'm not going there. I just say, Jesus Christ is alive for you and he wants to give you life on earth, that you feel alive, that you have friends, that you have a place where you belong. He wants to give you a home. He wants to give you people who pray for you, talk to you, and where you can grow and can do the same thing, supporting other humans, God's creation. It's an offer today to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, because to fill your void, to find orientation, who you really are. It might need a couple of years to find finally out who you really are. <laughs> But it's a start to call Jesus Christ into your 
soul, into your heart, into your mind, into your body, to make you over, to establish you in love, in joy, in his word, and going after his word means to become happy. You cannot avoid becoming happy when your identity lies in the Trinity of Father God, Jesus Christ the Son and the Holy Spirit, our helper, our counselor. Choose him today. Let's pray.